Right. Okay, so the topic that we've been alluding to all through this episode is once children, now adults. And so the question is, how do you adjust as a family when children become adults and have different priorities? So that's been something that we've had having to get used to now that our children yeah. are 19 and 21. Yeah. When they've grown up playing games uh, since they're the ages of three and five, because that's when I was doing reviews for Games Quarterly magazine. Right. And we were getting uh, hundreds of games sent to us to play with them. We played games all the time. Well, every night we played. Every night we played one or two different games. Right. And then we continued to do that uh, through. Uh, through their elementary, their high school. middle school, and high school. So yep. it's been a little bit of adjustment for us uh, that they're working now. Uh, In school at UNLV. Yeah. One of them is. Yeah. Right. Well, they're working and going to school, just working. Right. And they're doing things with their friends. And then eventually they're going to move out and have a girlfriend. So I think uh, if we continue to do this, it will be, what do, we, what do you play with your grandchildren and your uh Daughter-in-laws, yeah, yeah that will be, be a fun. That would be a future video. Yeah. Now, so this is uh, our boys with uh, with us at Gen Con in 2010 for five years. I did Gen Con Trade Day uh, where I uh, worked with retailers and uh, educators to bring them out there for Trade Day. That's the right. day before uh, the, the four days, the regular four days. So anyways, the answer is, uh, go ahead, Julie, do you see what I put there? Yes, I have. Be flexible. Uh do things on holidays or special events. And the biggest one that we've noticed is just let them choose the game they want to play. Yeah, that's why we played Karuba, what, 29 times? <sighs> more, more than I... <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah. But it, it, it is a good thing, though, to let them choose because then they want to play. They don't feel like they're um, being trapped or having to be bribed into playing, so to speak. Um and it makes it more enjoyable for all of us when it's a game that they have chosen and they want to play. They don't sit there and kind of, not pout, but they, they're they not as involved and they're not as uh, into it, I don't think. It, it, if we're like, come on, you got to play this. Right. As opposed to them saying, hey, I'd like to play this. And we're, we're kind of the ones who are like, oh, okay, you know, we'll do it. Right, and so that's the let them choose and uh, one thing too is they don't want because they're in this they don't want to sit down for a long time. No. And so it's rare we can get them to play a new game as well, and they definitely do not want to learn how to play. No. Uh, read the rules on their own. No. So this is just a stage that they're in. I don't know if this will continue, but to get them to read the rules to a new game and to teach it. That's been out the door for, what, three years? Oh, at least, yeah. yeah. Well, they also were busy with music, and right. so, yeah. So uh, there's our response. Don't force it. Uh, look, uh, scheduled for special holidays and events, uh, like Father's Day, Mother's Day. You right. know, we have family coming in town. Right. Uh, or we or when we go to a convention and they want to go, too, yeah. like to MeepleCon or RenCon, or we haven't gone to Gen Con or Origins no. uh, in a while. But, again, we will... Uh, someday, at least we will. And that will be a future topic for us is what we do mm -hmm. now that our children are leaving, starting to begin to want to leave the nest. Yep. Uh, what do you do as a couple uh, to keep things interesting, to fill that void? Right. And so that's why we're playing more games together than we ever have before. Oh, definitely. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode where we went over five different games and this topic. And uh, next week we'll have a different topic and yep. different games. Yep. Thank so, you for watching. We really appreciate it. So please subscribe. Yeah. And click the little bell so you can get uh, notified <laughs> when we have new videos up. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Take care.